a conventional house the heat inside the room is lost to the outside through the walls windows infiltration roof and floor the roof represents 30% of the total heat losses in a house therefore an insulated roof is essential to keep the heat inside the house in this video you will see the best way to insulate the roof to prevent heat loss step 1 put the beams in place step 2 position the talu wooden sticks on top of the beams step 3 Cover the wooden sticks talu with a layer of cardboard to prevent the wood shavings to fall down through the talu. Step 4 Put a 2 inch layer of wood shavings yaxes or straw to absorb the humidity coming from the room. Step 5 Fill jute bags with an insulation material such as sawdust, peat pill, straw or hay. Do not use plastic bags, they create moisture. Make sure the height is 6 inches after compression. Less than 6 inches won't be energy efficient. Put the bags on top of the wood shaving layer. Step 6 Cover the bags filled with sawdust with a layer of cardboard. Step 7 Apply a layer of mud. Don't make it level. In the south side, it should be 9 inches high and 4 inches high in the north side. This way the rain will drain easily. Make sure the structure and the lintel are strong enough to support the weight. Recent changes in the weather have increased the frequency and intensity of rainfall in Ladakh and Lahul and Spiti, making necessary to make roofs waterproof. Step 8 The best way to make a waterproof roof is to add a 2 inch layer of clay markalak fill the gaps between the big pieces with clay powder or small pieces of clay Step 9 Make sure to provide a drainage system on the north side This can be done by adding corrugated metal sheets just under the clay layer. If metal sheets are not available, make a parapet and place pipes every 3 feet to drain the rain. Apply cement or clay around the pipes to prevent leaking. Step 10 Cover the clay with a 2 inch layer of mud. If it is not possible to insulate the roof in the way shown previously, you can insulate it from inside the room to prevent major heat losses by creating a false ceiling. Since the beams that support the roof are usually not the same size, you have to make a wooden frame just below the beams to hold a false ceiling and to have a flat and even surface. The objective is to insulate the space between the roof and the false ceiling. If you use EPS extruded polystyrene locally known as thermocol as insulator use at least 4 inches thick sheets and cover it with plywood you can also use other insulation materials such as crumpled paper wood shavings or sawdust always make sure to compact the material so there are no big air gaps